Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. A 10-year-old girl must team up with her new friend to prevent her country from being invaded by giants that devour humans. Today we will recap the story of the 2016 movie, The BFG. In one of the many orphanages scattered throughout the city of London lives a girl named Sophie. Although she is very young, the girl has a great responsibility in her hands. Since the supervisor of the orphanage is a completely slovenly woman, Sophie always needs to make sure that the house is in order. There are many cases of missing children in England, so before midnight everyone needs to be in their beds. However, Sophie always stays up late to organize the house. Looking out the window, she sees four drunken men having fun in the deserted streets of London and orders them to leave so as not to wake the children. When she is contradicted, the girl says she will call the police, and they decide to run away. When she goes to her room, late at night, the girl lies on her bed with her pet kitten and uses a flashlight to read a book. Suddenly, the animal hears a noise coming from outside and runs out onto the balcony. Curious to know what is going on, Sophie gets up and goes after him, even after being told by her supervisor never to go out on the balcony at night. Looking outside, the girl spots some frightened cats running away down the street. Then a gigantic monster appears. While lifting the garbage cans, the creature realizes that it is being watched by the girl and walks towards her. Startled, Sophie runs back to her bed and hides under her blanket. Then the monster sticks its giant hand into the room and captures the girl. After that, he runs away through the streets camouflaging himself so as not to be noticed by the few people who are still outside their homes. When he leaves town, the giant starts running quickly with Sophie in his hands, and hours later he finally arrives home. Terrified, the girl takes advantage of the creature's distracted moment to try to escape through the window, but ends up catching its attention by knocking over some items on the floor. Realizing that the human is trying to escape, the giant throws her into the frying pan and begins to prepare his food. Just then, Sophie hears frightening noises coming from outside and discovers that she is in the land of giants. The girl begs the monster not to devour her and he claims that, unlike his colleagues, he does not feed on humans. Sophie then asks why she was taken away and the giant tells her that he did this to prevent his existence from being discovered. The young girl promises that she will not tell anyone and begs the monster to take her back. However, he doesn't believe the girl and says that she will live in that place forever. Disgusted, Sophie says she will find a way to escape and the giant advises her not to do so. Otherwise, she will be devoured by the other giants. To prevent the young girl from escaping, the creature places her on top of a floating ship and uses a magnifying glass to read the book that was taken along with her. As Sophie listens to the reading, she falls asleep and the giant comes out of the cave to go to his hiding place. There, the creature keeps various dreams and nightmares, which it can make in any way it wishes. He quickly creates a terrifying nightmare and puts it into Sophie's mind. Minutes later, the girl wakes up startled and sees the giant sleeping just below. So she seizes the opportunity to make her escape and manages to get out through the window. While running through the forest, Sophie is surprised by a giant that appears from underground and devours her. Luckily, it was all just a bad dream, and this time she wakes up for real. She immediately realizes that the dream was implanted in her subconscious by the giant who captured her. In its defense, the creature says that it only did this so that Sophie would know what would happen if she tried to escape. At that moment, the girl spots a bottle filled with a green liquid and is curious as to why the bubbles go down instead of up. The giant then explains that this delicious drink is called Frobscottle. After drinking it, the giant lets out a frightening gas, strong enough to lift him out of his chair. Suddenly, Fleshlumpeter appears in the cave and Sophie discovers that the good giant is the smallest of all the specimens in that land. The monster is nervous because he has been woken up by his colleague's chatter. He asks who the little guy was talking to, and the giant friend manages to push him away with a bowl of water, since the other giants hate to get wet. Just then, Fleshlumpeter smells Sophie and begins to search for the human that his colleague is hiding. So the girl stuffs her body inside a snaz cumbers to camouflage the smell. Unlike the rest of his people who only eat human flesh, the good giant's only source of nutrients are those vegetables. When the brute leaves, Sophie is finally able to leave her hiding place, and the giant leads her to a tap to take herself away. He then gives her some dry clothes to wear. While putting the girl to sleep, the giant says he needs to go to work, and Sophie discovers that he works hunting dreams. After much insistence, the girl manages to convince the giant to take her along with him to work. Now they have to get past all the other giants and climb the mountain to reach the top. Just as she is about to cross the sea of monsters, the little giant is captured by Fleshlumpeter, and Sophie must flee to avoid being found. The monsters decide to play with the dwarf and throw him down the mountain on top of a truck while Gizzardgulper uses two vehicles as skids to go towards him in order to run him over. Sophie was inside one of these cars and uses the steering wheel to steer it off course, 
causing the brute to get hurt and fall to the ground. Luckily, at that moment it starts to rain and the good giant manages to get rid of those barbarians chasing them. After picking up the girl, he runs to the mountain and Fleshlumpeter finds the young girl's blanket that ended up falling to the ground. Upon reaching the top of the mountain, the duo enters the land of dreams and jumps into the lake to reach the other side, where the dreams are hidden. At that moment, the giant says that a human once called him, Big Friendly Giant, and Sophie decides to call him BFG. The good giant tells her that all dreams begin in that place, and the girl is amazed by all that beauty. While watching the dreams being produced, BFG witnesses the birth of a fizz wizard, an extremely rare type of dream, and begins to chase it with his net. During the capture, BFG takes a big tumble and fizz wizard flies towards Sophie. This time, the giant manages to catch him and is surprised to discover that he already knew the girl. After trapping it in a jar, fizz wizard uses its luminosity to produce a drawing resembling Sophie's face. Excited about everything new that she is experiencing, the girl runs after other dreams in an attempt to collect one more, but to her surprise, she ends up attracting a nightmare. After trapping that terrible dream, BFG returns to the other side and pulls Sophie to go away with him. After the harvest, the duo goes to the city to blow dreams. While walking through London, the giant watches a boy through the window and uses his trumpet to blow dreams into him and his parents, who are sleeping in the next room. The boy dreams that the telephone in his house is ringing and his father answers it. The man is startled to discover that the President of the United States knows his son and has called to chat with the boy. As they chatter on the phone, the boy's mother appears and, after telling him what just happened, his father faints. After a long night, the duo returns to the land of giants and must hide when they see the monsters approaching. At this point, Sophie asks about her blanket and remembers that it must have fallen off near the cave while she was trying to hide from the giants. When BFG hears this, he despairs, for he realizes that the girl's life may be in danger. So he decides to take her back to the human world, and Sophie wonders if everything she has experienced has been nothing more than a dream. However, as she looks at her clothes in the place where she is lying, the girl realizes that it was all real. She starts screaming for the giant and BFG appears in the shadows saying that he can no longer take her, because now the girl is no longer safe. Still, Sophie insists on going with him and BFG tells the story of a boy he met years before. During the night, the boy saw him, and so BFG needed to take him. A few weeks later, the giants find him and the boy is devoured. Upon hearing this story, Sophie feels even more motivated to put an end to those monsters, that BFG leaves. Just then, Sophie's cat appears to greet her and accompanies her back to the orphanage. The girl then returns to her room and walks to the balcony. Believing that the giant will save her, she jumps in and, fortunately, her expectations are met. The duo then returns to the land of the giants, and Fleshlumpeter smells his treat approaching. Hiding in the cave, they try to think of a plan to get rid of the louts, and suddenly they hear a noise. BFG asks Sophie to hide while his house is invaded by his enemies. The giants surround the dwarf and BFG tries to drive them out. However, instead of leaving, they sniff the blanket and search the entire cave for the girl. While the monsters destroy everything around them, the dreams manage to escape and BFG sees all his work lost. After a few minutes of searching, Fleshlumpeter manages to find the girl's trail and Sophie has to hide in the water to avoid being sniffed out. Soon after, she cautiously runs towards the BFG, and just as she was about to hide in her bag, Fleshlumpeter appears and steals the bag. Scared, Sophie keeps trying to escape and enters a small hole in a tree, where she finds a small hidden house. While investigating everything around that room, she finds several old drawings of the boy who was there before her. Suddenly, Fleshlumpeter manages to find Sophie's trail again, and BFG uses an iron rod with a burning tip to drive them out of his house. To prevent the same thing that happened earlier from happening to Sophie, the dwarf takes courage and turns against his own people. Fleshlumpeter decides to take him on, but ends up getting attacked with water. And soon after, ends up falling into the waterfall. When BFG gets rid of the giants, Sophie comes out of her hiding place and returns to the small room in order to explore the place. There, she finds the picture of the Queen of England and tells BFG her plan. The girl says that they can go to the Queen and ask for her help to stop those macabre giants. However, first they need to convince her that those monsters are a real threat. To this end, BFG fabricates a new nightmare, in which the Queen will see giants invading the country and devouring helpless little children. Sophie is also in this dream and convinces the Queen that the only way to defeat those monsters is to send soldiers to capture them. Finally, BFG puts himself in the dream, in which he allies with the government to defeat those louts. After mixing all the ingredients, a horrifying nightmare is manufactured. Sophie says that for the plan to work, 
Both she and BFG need to be at the queen's window as soon as she wakes up from the nightmare. Therefore, the duo must distract the guards in order to enter the castle. When they reach the queen's window, BFG blows his trumpet and releases the nightmare. Then he leaves. At that moment, the queen begins to scream in despair and wakes up. Then Mary enters the room and tries to calm her down. While the queen explains the dream she just had, Mary looks through the newspaper and notices that in one of the articles there are reports of little children disappearing at night with no explanation. Startled, the woman asks Mary to open the curtains and they come across Sophie at the window. Immediately, the queen recognizes her and asks if it was a giant who put her there. The girl replies that the giant who put her there in the window is her best friend and is hiding in the garden. Upon hearing this, Tibbs orders the guards to survey the garden and Sophie asks if she can call the BFG to join the conversation. With the queen's permission, the girl calls out to her friend, but he doesn't show up. Frustrated, the queen asks Sophie to come down from the window, but she insists on calling for her friend until he finally decides to show up. At this point, the guards gather around the giant, but at the queen's request, Tibbs orders his men to retreat and let him pass. Before the queen, BFG bows and says he is there to help her get rid of the threat that surrounds the country. Minutes later, the queen starts making some calls and requests the presence of England's best soldiers in that operation. Before making the mission official, the queen hosts a dinner party in her castle, where the greatest leaders of the English army, the palace staff, Sophie and BFG are gathered. To enter the castle, the giant must crawl and arouses everyone's nerves when he enters the dining room. Just when everything seemed to be going well, BFG knocks over one of the chandeliers, which almost falls on top of the queen. Ashamed, Sophia apologizes for the incident and tries to justify it by saying that her friend has never been inside a house before. Next, some butlers appear bringing the BFG bag on top of a cart, used to transport the object. The employees then set up a special table for the giant to sit at, and need to secure the bench to make sure that no other accidents happen. When lunch begins, the waiters must climb ladders to serve the food, and a gigantic portion is prepared to satisfy the giant's hunger. Both Sophie and BFG are amazed to see all that food, because for both of them there has never been enough on the table. The giant gorges himself on the delicious food and says that he never again wants to eat Snaz cumbers, the only food he has to eat in the land of giants. Soon after, the butlers need to use a watering can to serve tea to the guest. However, when BFG tries the drink, he finds the taste terrible and has to spit it out. He then presents his bottle to the queen and tells her that he made it himself. When the giant opens the bottle, the generals appear and the queen says that they need to go to the land of the giants. As agreed, BFG will give the necessary instructions for the remaining members of his people to be captured. To celebrate, the creature puts Frobscottle into dozens of cups, which are then distributed to the queen and the other guests. Even the royal dogs end up taking that drink. And minutes later everyone starts to let out the dreaded gas. The next morning, BFG runs back to the land of the giants and is followed by helicopters full of soldiers. After a few hours of travel, they finally reach their destination and BFG asks the humans to wait. The good giant intends to use some nightmares to make his colleagues panic, so they will have less chance to counterattack. After fabricating terrible nightmares that will be used against his own people, BFG sits down next to Sophie to watch the sunrise with the intention of saying goodbye to her. He says that the young girl has a whole life ahead of her and many adventures to live, so she cannot stay in the land of giants. However, BFG claims that with his huge ears he will be able to hear every time the girl calls out to him, and maybe one day the two friends will be able to see each other again. When it comes time to blow the nightmares, BFG realizes that he has forgotten his trumpet in the palace and Sophie decides to go into the middle of the battlefield to try to get those dreams into the giant's subconscious. Just as she is about to open the jar, Fleshlumpeter wakes up and is ready to devour her, but the girl manages to release the nightmares in time. While his colleagues are attacked, Fleshlumpeter manages to shake off the dream, but all the other giants wake up in despair. At that moment, the monster prepares to attack Sophie, but BFG appears to protect her. He faces his enemy and guides the young girl to flee, while he himself is captured. The good friendly giant was about to be destroyed when soldiers show up and capture Fleshlumpeter along with his gang. During the attack, they try to escape, but the soldiers use metal hooks to trap and immobilize them. Sophie is in the middle of the crossfire and must be very careful not to get hurt during the battle. Before anything bad can happen to her, BFG manages to catch her, and the duo watches from afar as the bizarre giants are whisked away, hanging from the helicopters. Now that he has regained his freedom, BFG feels relieved and happy again. On that day, the giants were taken to a remote island to live in total isolation. They are thrown into the sea and must swim until they reach the island. Later, they are surprised by several snozcumbers, the food they hate the most. 
To make matters worse, the queen has ordered them to send seeds of Sna's cumbers so that they can plant them on the island. From now on, this will be all they will have to eat. Weeks have passed and Sophie is awakened by Mary. Since the day she left the land of giants, the girl has been living in the palace. Every morning she goes to the window to wish BFG a good morning, and he listens to her every day. Now the giant lives alone on his land and no longer needs to eat Sna's cumbers to live. He has a beautiful plantation with various fruits and vegetables. The Sna's cumbers is only used to make his beloved Fropscottle. After being separated from those monsters, BFG lives happily and has even started writing about the adventure he experienced during the short time he worked with the humans. When she is alone, Sophie still talks to her friend, and although she doesn't receive an answer, the girl knows that he listens to her. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.